Hi. Uh, let's start our uh, discussion of sequential circuits by building a very simple uh, memory device. Okay. This memory device is a SR latch. Uh, and this is how it looks. So the SR latch has can be made of two NOR gates. So here's one NOR gate and here's another NOR gate. And both of these gates have two, uh, uh, two inputs. So there are two input NOR gates. Okay. And what you do is, what you can do is you can, uh, the way it's connected is the output of one of the NOR gates becomes an input to the second NOR gate. And similarly, the output of this NOR gate goes and it becomes the input to this NOR gate. So there's a connection here, there's a connection here. Okay, and uh, this output is called R, this is called S, and this is called Q, and this is called Q bar. Now, uh, to see how this functions what we want to do is we want to give different inputs of r and s and see how uh, the latch works okay before we do that uh, just wanted to remind you of how a nor gate functions how does a uh, how, do, how does a nor gate function remember uh, if you have a nor gate so let me just draw it here Okay, and you have inputs A and B going into it, and the output is, let's say, Q. So what would be the truth table of an OR gate? A, B, Q. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And basically, the output of output is 1, 0, 0, 0. So the idea is that if any one of the inputs of the NOR gate, either A or B is 1, or both are 1, then Q is 0. If both of them are 0, then only in that condition will be will q be equal to one okay so that kind of helps us in thinking through how uh, this latch works so let's write the truth table of this latch by writing the inputs here and then let's write the outputs q and q bar here okay and of course you you'll have different combinations rs equal to zero one one zero and one one now uh, we know that if one of the inputs to the nor gate if any one of the inputs to the nor gate is one the output is going to be zero right so if that is the case then what will be the output when r equal to one and s equal to one that is both the nor gates have at least one input which is equal to one what is the output then what is q zero and what is q bar it's also zero right so zero and zero okay what happens when r is one and s is equal to zero so if r is one then the output of this nor gate is zero that is q is zero and if q is zero then we already know that s is zero right s is zero and if q is zero then this input is also zero so we got both zeros here and therefore q bar is equal to one so the output here is going to be uh, 0 and 1. And similarly, I'll let you work this out. But uh, the, okay, maybe let's do it. So if R is 0 and S is 1. So if S is 1, what will be Q bar? It's going to be 0, right? Because one of the inputs of this NOR gate is 1. So the output is going to be 0. If the, if the output here is 0, what are the inputs to this NOR gate? R is already 0. And this is also zero, which means the output is going to be one. Okay, so let's write that out. So Q is one and Q bar is zero. Now, this, this is the interesting part of uh, the latch. What happens when R and S both are zero? Okay, so let's, let, let's look at this step. So R is zero and S is zero. Now, think about this. If R and uh, S both are 0 and Q is 1 by some chance okay then so Q is 1 so you get 1 here you get 0 here okay so what is the output of this NOR gate then it is 0 
and then if this is zero the output uh, input here is going to be zero and r is already zero so what will be q it's going to be one so if q is one it remains one does that make sense so if you make r and s equal to zero q remains one now let's change this state let's assume that q is to start off with q is zero if q is zero then the inputs to this nor gate are what they are zero and zero right so what's the output of the nor gate it's one so q bar is one which means what's the output to this nor gate inputs to this nor gate sorry so it's going to be one and zero which means what is the output of this nor gate it's going to be zero so if q was zero it remains zero if q was one it remains one and therefore uh, 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 when the inputs are zero and zero what you get is uh, the outputs are q and q bar so basically the previous input is maintained and that's how this is a memory device uh, in the next video let's just uh, take a look at a multi-sim simulation of this latch and see how this memory device uh, works.